What's good everyone? It's Marvin from mjo23dan.com. Today I want to talk about two releases and only because that I've gotten some requests to do this video. It's not going to be a comparison video, although I would have liked to do it, but this is the Air Jordan 18. Okay, story time. The Air Jordan 18 was designed by Tate Kubris. Tate Kubris is also the designer of the Air Jordan 33. You can check out that video at the top right corner of your screen. The 18 released in February of 2003 for a price tag of $175. Now I honestly didn't pick up this shoe right away thinking that the previous model, the Air Jordan 17, was $200. I'm fresh out of college, just graduated San Diego State, so wanted to have some fun. A couple buddies of mine decided we wanted to spend New Year's Eve in Las Vegas. So this is where this pair came into play. It was December 30, 2003, and I picked up this pair at 905 South Grand Central Parkway. The sneakers went from 175 all the way down to 69.99. So I thought I got a pretty good deal and patience came my way. If you guys have ever been to Las Vegas for New Year's Eve, you know that it's pretty crazy. So we went in December of 2003 and we thought we were crazy enough to go uh, in 2004, so that's what we did. And uh, anyways, this particular pair came with a suede brush, which is pretty cool. Something that I was actually expecting in the retro of 2018, but that didn't happen. So this was pretty special. It came with a suede brush. It also came with a towel got the sport royal embroidery right beneath and then it came with what's called a driver's manual so this right here was included with the Air Jordan 18 and it just showed like really nice pictures a description of the shoe the inspiration how to care for it the maintenance just like something you would receive in a new car speaking of which I just purchased a brand new Mini Cooper so it's a full length Nike Air Zoom unit and underneath that heel zoom, which is pretty comfortable. So again, I don't own the retro, I just own the OG. I would have loved to do a comparison video, but I'm again being smart with my money and not spending it because uh, I just don't see the purpose in it. Now if I was given a pair, seated a pair, using a borrowed pair, uh, I would be able to bring that to you. but. In this case, uh, that's not gonna happen. I've just been pretty busy with things. I'm taking my girls to karate like four times a week, piano one time a week, so I'm a pretty busy dad. And you know, that's probably why you haven't seen a lot of videos from me lately, but um, people requested this one. And this is the Air Jordan 18 and the Black Sport Royal in that suede, nice suede. This is one of the shoes that was inspired by motorcycle racing. So you can see like, you know, the wide toe, something that I appreciate as a wide footer uh, having to throw on this shoe. I didn't play basketball on the shoe. Um, I would assume that this sneaker doesn't have too much breathability, although they try to do it right here up by the angle portions where you see this holographic inspiration. And uh, these are pretty much like, I guess what you would call the the flaps at the rear of the car, the mud flaps or the mud guards. So that's why that looks like that. And then exposing the sheer uh, metal, which isn't really metal, but it's just a design piece there. Uh, carbon fiber throughout the shoe looks great, although it's faded here on the back. And then as far as these squares here, you have nine of them on one shoe, nine of them on the other, adding to 18. So there is a carbon fiber plate right in as you saw on the description of the booklet there and uh, again for torsional rigidity support this magnetic piece up at the top here pull it down just a style look and it shows the laces and then the sheer metal right underneath the leather and suede quality of this is just really nice I've picked up a retro actually one retro of the Air Jordan 18 in the red colorway. And that's this right here. So 
I guess if we were gonna compare the two, you can see the Black Sport Royal and the Red or the Toro, which people are calling, it's pretty much the same. I think that the Jordan 18 is a great shoe. I do, in fact, want to be able to pick up the yellow pair, the orange pair, and the blue pair. I saw a blue pair in the outlets not too long ago, but uh, it wasn't my size. Actually, it was my size, but it was a half size too big, and I ended up passing on those. But on StockX, and you guys can check out the, the links in the description if you guys want to purchase, but uh, they're not going for too much on StockX, so I think once I gather some ends, I'll be able to scoop up all three of those colorways. But for now, it's really not a priority. The Air Jordan 19 and the White Sport Royal I ended up getting for $99. And this was with the one at 7400 South Las Vegas Boulevard. And so both of these colors were picked up on the same day at different times. So the white pair only came with a white towel and it didn't come with a suede brush or the manual. So if you guys wanted that, that was only going to be in the original colorway. The White Sport Royal ended up releasing in April of 2003. But it just so happened that both of them were available in December when I went to Las Vegas for New Year's Eve. But yeah, the white leather, um, you got smooth and you got tumbled. Tumbled is on the uh, tongue portion of, of the shoe, you know, on the back as well as on the cover and then on the rear. So uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting look. And you got the white leather with the silver hits and the blue just looks great this screams washington wizards to me and this was actually the, the last shoe that michael jordan wore when he took those last two free throws in philadelphia to say goodbye to his fans uh april 16 2003 worn by the greatest of all time anyways it's mjo 23 dan if you guys like the video please hit the thumbs up throw a comment down below subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys later take care